Yo, what is popping, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Bash. As usual, um, I have a ground war domination on Wasteland. Ground war. Wow, I can't believe I'm playing this, but I had a lobby full of beasts and legends, and there was there was there was no other option. We had to play ground war, so so we're doing it up. Um, even though I hate ground war and I do hate Wasteland, um, for whatever reason, I ended up getting a good a good gameplay. So here it is for you, for you lovely ladies and gentlemen. Um, but uh, yeah. You'll see there's a little bit of lag right here at the start, and that's one of the reasons why I hate Ground War. For whatever reason, I seem to experience more lag, more host migration when when there's Ground War. Um, don't know what it is. I couldn't tell you. I don't know if that's just me or if you guys are experiencing that too. Um, but, hey, whatever. There's Bendro. You know, for some reason, whichever way I go, whenever I'm playing a game, if I decide to go one way, Bendro just happens to be like two steps ahead of me, cock blocking killing look at him he's like right in front of me like he's within me right now finally we split up but <laughs> you can ask benjo he does this every time whenever i go somewhere and i see like a lineup i'll have like a triple spray benjo will just come and just spray them all down and i'll be like where the hell did you just come from dude but whatever man i love benjo no homo that's my boy he already knows <laughs> but um yeah man commentaries i'll be honest with you guys i haven't been feeling the commentaries so much lately um I mean, I, you got as you guys know, I haven't brought out a commentary for. It. I think it's been, I think it's been three weeks now, and um, it's just that I don't know. I don't have the motivation to do it, and it, it didn't seem fun to me. I didn't really have any motivation really to, to do it. Today I did, so I've done it. Um, but uh, generally, I don't know. I just haven't been feeling it, and um, I don't know if it's just because I don't play this game as much. Actually, I do think that's probably what it is. I, I just don't play this game as much, and uh, as a result. I'm not interested in Call of Duty as much as I used to be. Now that's changed recently. I mean, COD uh, Black Ops actually dropped their you know multiplayer trailer. Everybody's heard of it. I know I'm late as hell, but uh, I'll give my thoughts on that later. Just a brief brief thoughts. I'm not gonna do no in depth analysis like some people have done. You know, I'm not really that hardcore yet, but um, I haven't paid that much attention to it. I've been really busy, but um, I'll give you my thoughts on that. Um, but that really has kind of ignited a little. You know call of duty fever you know for me at least um i've been playing a lot of street fighter i talked about that a lot i've been going to some tournaments like in the toronto area um i play that like a hell of a lot i play it for hours a day and uh, i think i'm getting a lot better but regardless um call of duty just really isn't wasn't wasn't at least floating floating my boat um there's a couple reasons for this i don't like playing alone um i used to be able to play alone all the time i used to play this game for hours on end but um, nowadays, I don't play alone. So, I mean, I'll be playing, you know, Street Fighter. And if I get an invite from, you know, usually the people who invite me are generally like Joostra, Onslaught, or uh, Bendro. Those are really like my general inviters. If I get an invite from one of them, I'll switch CDs. No problem. I love playing with them. Those are my boys. Um, and I mean, it is, if I get invited, I'll play. Or if I know there's an organized team, I'll jump on and play. If someone asks me to play, I'll play. But I'll never really take the initiative to just put the CD in and play by myself just because it's not as appealing to me as it used to be at one point in time. And, um, uh, and you know, you guys might be saying, you know, why are you telling us all this? Okay, hold on. You can see me right here. I'm just shooting Dunkus because <laughs> I'm such a jerk. I'm just trying to make him. I'm just trying to worry him. I'm just trying to play mind games with him. <laughs> I'm such a jerk like that. But uh, it's just all in good fun, right? <laughs> but, um... No, for real. Um, like I don't like playing by myself. And where I'm going, where I was going with that was, um, I'd like to be more active and you know have more interaction with you guys. Um, I want to be able to play with you guys more often. And there are times that I want to play Call of Duty, but I'm like, man, f that. I'm not even gonna jump on Call of Duty because like none of my friends are online right now. And uh, like I, as you guys know, I keep my friends list um, subscriber free just because um, I don't. If I can, I have 15,000 subscribers right now and some change, and if I can't put you all on my friends list, I don't find it fair to put like you know one or two of you on my friends list or like seven or eight of you on my friends list. It's not really cool of me. So I decided, you know, I'll just keep it subscriber free. People send me messages and friend invites. Um, when I get random friend requests, I just delete them. I'll be straight up. But um. If I get a random friend request along with a message or, you know, man, I, I really like to play with you or whatever, I try to invite you to my games. I send you a couple invites. If you're never online when I'm online, and I usually just end up deleting the message just because that's how it is. But I try to get you in the games, I promise. Um, but where I was going with this was, 
Um, generally, I'm gonna, I'm, I want to start playing more COD, and I want to start playing with you guys more. And um, I can't commit to open lobbies like I used to be able to, just because, like, my it's the summertime, and I'm just mad busy, like, Things are hectic for me right now. Like I'm, I mean, it's not a bad thing. Nothing crazy, nothing bad's going on. But just, I, I always have commitments on the weekends. I'm always doing things, so it's hard for me to say, um, "Hey guys, on 6 p.m. on Saturday, uh, join me for an open lobby." As much as I'd like to, and as much as I plan to do that, I definitely will do that. Um, it's it's hard for me to do that. So, so what I plan to do um, is uh, from now on, whenever I feel like playing Modern Warfare 2. I'm gonna post to my Twitter. I'm just gonna post a message saying, "Yo, I wanna play Modern Warfare 2." First, you know, four or five people who message me will start up a lobby and let's get playing. So, um, the reason why I'm telling you guys this is because there's 15,000 of you and there's only 500 people following me on Twitter. Um, there's been a couple times I've said, "Yo, I'm gonna play Modern Warfare 2." Someone join me, but just because there's only 500 people following me, um, it's unlikely that you know I'm gonna have someone online at that point in time. Um, I've said the same thing for Street Fighter. If you play Street Fighter, you can definitely follow me on Twitter. Um, and I mean, I, I almost like, I always try to send a message saying, you know, guys, I'm playing Street Fighter. Someone want to play, send me a message. We get an endless battle started. Um, but I'm going to start doing that for Modern Warfare 2. So um, I'll put this link in the description to my Twitter. I always do, but um, it's really easy. It's twitter.com slash bash lol. You guys all have Twitter accounts. So um, just follow me on Twitter. It's also a good way to interact with me. Um, I do try to respond to all my messages on YouTube. I think I do a good job of that. Um, but YouTube's just so, I mean, um, Twitter's just so much easier. It's real time. Um, I get it on my Blackberry. So if you guys send me like an at or whatever, I'll see it and likely this is I'll try to respond like right off the bat right away if you have a question whatever it is it's the easiest way to get in contact with me so I'm just throwing that out there so you guys know um, I will be doing that so if you want to play with me or you want to play with whoever and I usually play with um, whenever I don't have a spot to whenever I have a spot that I want to fill I'm just gonna send send it out on Twitter so yeah, just letting you guys know that that's the best way to do it. And I really do want to interact with you, and I feel like having that two-way communication is is the best. It's fun. Um, so uh, and yeah, and also I mean, like a lot of people ask me why I don't stream. I don't have the connection to stream. Like unfortunately, my connection isn't good enough to uh, play Call of Duty as well as stream at the same time. I can do one or the other, and I'll probably. I mean, in the past, I've gone ahead and you know just jumped on the on the live stream with my just my face and talked to you guys. And uh, I have no problem doing that, and I'll do that again in the future. But uh, just to let you guys know that I really can't play and stream at the same time. But uh, look out for my boy Benjro. He's doing it all the time. So And Juster, got, he upgraded his connection, so he'll be doing it all the time too. And you can always find me in their rooms. I'll always be playing with them. So, uh, yeah. Um, Black Ops. Let's see. How do I feel about Black Ops? Um, I think it looks cool. To me, it got me really hyped up. Um, this Harrier is going to go to work, by the way, guys. I'm just letting you know. This Harrier goes to work. But, um, yeah, regardless. <laughs> Back to what I was saying, Black Ops. Um, it looks cool. Uh, I hope, I like the kill streaks. I guess. That RV car looks a little overpowered. I mean, to have an RV car that can get a kill the way that, um, I mean, I guess it looks, it looks kind of like, um, Black Ops Predator Missile. And um, to get that at three kills seems a little overpowered to me. So, um, I don't know what you guys think about that. What are your thoughts on that? Like, think about this. You're going to get an RV car. And I think the RV car is cool because it kind of, it's like an anti-camper type of thing. Um, it stops people from camping. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if, you, if someone camping in the corner, you'd be like, man, F that guy. I'm going to run around and get my RV car and I'm going to screw him up. So, uh, I think that looks cool. I like the new levels. I like the ballistics knife. I mean, I hope it's used like a throwing knife. But, um, you know, we'll see where it goes. I mean, I'm hyped for it. And um, I think I, get, I got a little bit of my Call of Duty fever back. So I think I'll be a little more active. I know I say that all the time. But I'll try to be a little more active on this channel. Um, at least something once a week. But no promises. But like I said, follow me on Twitter. Because I do announce a lot of stuff there. And uh, it's the easiest way to, you know, get in touch. But, uh, you know, until next time, guys. I'll try to be more active. Like I said, look out for something by next week. Um, and I'll see you later. Peace.